What's the deal? 9.03 a.m. October 4th. Past year, 40.2%. Past three months, 30.6%. Past month, 13.9%. Past week, 0.7%. Today, I'm down 2.7%. Market sell, DTEA, done. I'm going to go ahead and get, a, get out of a CGC because it doesn't look too pretty today. Not because of that, like, it just, I don't, my gut tells me to get out. <laughs> so yeah, as soon as I'm about to get out, it's going up, so I'm glad I waited <laughs> like five seconds. Now nah, I'll just hold that. Um So yeah, I sold David's tea. David's Tea engages in the retail of specialty tea. It offers a selection of loose leaf teas, prepackaged teas, tea sachets, or sachets, I don't even know that word, but, and uh, tea related gifts, food, and accessories through its stores. So, yeah, um, the CEO of this company came out saying that they were approached by several cannabis companies some were well known according to the CEO of David's Tea they um and then they mentioned that they are not anticipating any entry to the CBD market so yeah they said that they were approached by different cannabis companies um but they then said that they're not interested in getting into the cannabis space because, because I don't know why, to be honest. I didn't really read much on it. I just read like, I just read it real quick and I'm not interested in David's tea that much. Probably tastes nasty anyway. <laughs> Forty eight twelve. This is my CGC history. I buy and sell in big chunks of my portfolio. So yeah, it goes on and on, so here we go. And my first share was bought on June 25th, 2018.
and then I bought 12 on the same day, June 25th, 2018. Same day, I bought another one. The next day, I bought seven. Then three the same day. And then I sold... I sold all of them on the 28th. And on the, on the same day, 28th, I bought them back. <laughs> I bought them back at $1 less than I sold them. But then I sold them. If you see up here, then I sold them at $19 profit the next day. And on the same day, I bought them all back at a five dollars <laughs> less, at less, uh, less uh, cheaper than what I sold it. I laugh because I could tell how um, how I really don't, you know, I, I'm. I can tell that I'm scared. Like in the beginning, I could tell like I was just getting very small profits. And then I would trade it, and then I'll sell it. Like, I mean, I'll buy it, make, like, five bucks profit, and then sell it. <laughs> it's it's funny to me. Because now I I don't do that because I'll be, I'll be worried that I'll sell it, and then it'll go up, like, real quick. So I do it in way much bigger ch chunks. Well, like, I try to get way bigger profits than five bucks. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and hold that, and I will buy something else. I have $27.93 of buying power. All right, so I got two shares of InBev New Age Beverages. New Age Beverages Corp is a beverage company which engages in the development, marketing, sales, and distribution of ready-to-drink beverages. Its brand includes Coco Libre, or Coco Libre in Spanish. Coco Libre. So, yeah, Zing Tea, Zing Energy, Aspen Pure, Buka Live Kombucha, <laughs> Mellow Mood, and One Drop. Yeah. They need some better names for those drinks. So, uh, InBev is up 12.3 today. Uh, okay, past five years, InBev is up 63%. Past year, it's up 170%. Past three months, it's up 341%. Past month, it's up 475%. Past week, 105%. And today, 11.5. So what, that's what's going on in my neck of the woods. Peace out.